Welcome back everyone to Chemical React. It's a me, Fusion Form. And over there, like always, is my co-host, Gorilla Fist. How's it going? And today we have Jujutsu Kaisen, episode nine. Pretty good show. Uh, Gorilla, do you think uh, it's gonna have a longevity the, for this the series? Show. show into the manga. You think the manga is gonna, you know, last a long time or it's gonna hit a, you know, certain a certain point is just gonna stop uh i think it does have longevity right it just depends on how it's gonna go like it can either go in a route where they introduce a lot of characters and interesting new abilities to keep it going or it focuses on the narratives the narrative aspect right mm -hmm. i definitely see this show but this show has to have like an end goal kind of, end goal, kind of like i think of it like you know alno exorcist blue exorcist mm -hmm. yeah and like there's an end goal for that one it's somewhere <laughs> i don't know what it is but it's there and i get the same feeling for this one but that also but they both have to do with demons and things so that's probably why i'm comparing them yeah like you, like you said it's like spirit ghost demons but exorcist but i look at like the students in the school like my hero academia each student has a different ability like you know hammer nails one doesn't one can't see it, so she needs glasses you know etc cetera, etc cetera. right and that's why I mentioned like that whole group of people like it needs either a bigger cast or just focus more story stuff. I mean, the story's not bad. You got like side plots to everything going on. Like, I mean, protagonist he's technically quote unquote dead to the school and his teammates until the tournament arc, and then it's like yep. surprise, I'm alive. Yep. That's a side plot, or that's the main thing, you know, whatever you want to call it. But, but it's isn't, it, isn't exciting. Time to events. Yep. So before we jump into the reaction, if you enjoy our reaction to this episode, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, come join our Discord, Twitter, and join our Patreon to get access to our raw reaction footage to uh, many other shows. And without further ado, Fusion, I got my fingers up. In three, two, one, go. What? Well, that's how you start off an episode. <laughs> I probably wouldn't push it. Okay. <laughs> He's a kind hearted man. The one who hated me die. Oh. Who just allows their employees to eat at like the the front like that? <laughs> I'm trying to watch Human Earthworm 3, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, at least he told him, right? Yeah. And the cell phone. Ow. That was really freaky. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. He's like, nah, <laughs> finally, peace. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. That is messed up. This show always leaves my face like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hated everybody. Oh, not, not everybody, <laughs> but those guys. <laughs> and thus the super villain was formed. <laughs> She's traumatized. What would she do now? <laughs> yes, cup your <laughs> eyes and you really focus. Oh, oh my god, it works! <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's how the that's how he got up. Ex salary man jujitsu sorcerer. He does have the point though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But remember, like uh the one girl she can't eat she can't see so she has to wear the glasses mm -hmm. maybe he's similar what? <laughs> i love their interaction so good this guy's complicated man he seems like it lunchbox oh god Oh, 
Oh. Oh, there's more. Okay. These things are terrifying looking. Yeah, that is the most sound reasoning I think I've heard. <laughs> yeah. He may be a jerk, but he makes a lot of sense. <laughs> if you need help, call me. <laughs> <laughs> the loss of your favorite bread store. But I understand that kind of makes sense now. Man, we get a fight in like every episode. It's great. I love it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> kind of busy here. <laughs> <laughs> I, man, I relate. Got like scopes? What? Uh, yo. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. And the music too. I like this guy. Oh, 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 oh my face! No. <laughs> Yo, this guy is so cool. Everyone's so cool in this show. Yo, he looks. What's up? He looks pretty hot like this. <laughs> he looks like he doesn't go out. <laughs> <laughs> Two impacts? Oh. Oh. It's like a shotgun. <laughs> hey, there you go, man. A new technique. I don't feel no pity for it. I, it just wants this detergent. Now end its life. <laughs> Finish it. Well, that's oh wow, that's why he's like, listen calmly. <laughs> I mean, I heard it saying lunchbox and detergent, I just thought maybe that's what the spirits want in his afterlife, but nope. <laughs> Oh. Huh. Me! All I got from that was revenge. Well, I mean, unless he's being literal and like he's literally a curse brought about, brought about by people fearing other people. Well, I don't know. You saw that little flashback of some guy putting something in his eye socket, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Wow, launch it. <laughs> <laughs> I will slap you. <laughs> oh man, he's got a. What is what that? The fuck? That's... <laughs> I was gonna say he's got a box. That's not quite a box. <laughs> oh, it's over. Oh, damn. Whoop. Yeah, I know. That went by fast. I thought we were gonna be like, ah, I got a box, and then the end. <laughs> Kinda of was like that, but not really. So once again we get another you know, pretty a pretty short fight, but a pretty good fight. Yeah. And we got to see uh, you know, Nanami's like uh, like m like margin of like cutting <laughs> Whatever. ability. Whatever that was, that was pretty cool. It's he's like every like seven mm -hmm. out of ten Notches is like a critical point on a enemy's body, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, okay, well, that's pretty cool. And then he just slashed, cut off all the limbs, and you know, and we finally got to see um, Yuji's fists. Oh yeah, he got his new Connection. technique ability that just like a double, double hit, basically punch. It's like a shotgun blast. Was really cool. So he's, he's got some moves now. He's learning something. I can't wait to see him like uh, have another like, another like really good fight, or the first really good fight. 
Bring on the tournament arc. <laughs> We're almost there. I think we have maybe like two more episodes, maybe. But I'm guessing I think it's at least four. Four? Damn, that's how long. Yeah. Because we still gotta focus on um Junipe. Yep. For however oh, yeah. we were, uh, however many that's gonna be. At, uh, in this episode, I guess we were introduced to Yoshino Junpei. He was bullied, wished pretty death. pretty hardcore bully too. Yep, wished uh, bad things on his uh, bullies, and they got yep. bad things happened to him. And now he's with like the bad guy. He's like, hey, can you teach me how to do that? It's interesting because <laughs> uh, um, I was going back to the yeah scene again, right by accident. Right, and then we saw the part. There was that one scene where the bad guy was telling the Flash, like, "Oh, I'm, I'm like the, uh, the accumulation of human hatred or whatever like that." So, right, and we saw that Flash, like him being operated with the eyeball thing, whatever that was, right? And back in the movie mm -hmm. theater, the movie they were watching was, you know, was it uh, Human Doctor, like Earthworm, Human 3? Earthworm Three something? Yeah, and he, that guy was doing an experiment on somebody. So I'm like, ha ha. Ah, I, know, I, uh -huh. I noticed that. I put that two and two together. So yeah. I didn't. I didn't catch that part. But yeah. yeah, that makes sense. And we also noticed that like there are just, there are curses born out of fear, but not just from like like unknowns, but mm -hmm. like from natural disasters. That explains the volcano guy. Yeah. He's born out of the fear of volcanoes, and so that octopus thing that was in the beach in the ocean, that has to be the fear of oceans, yeah. based on how they were going about it, which is. That's a pretty cool concept. I didn't think about something like that. At last, at the end of at the end of this episode, uh, what was it? Our main protagonist had a little prison cell crate of the other demons. Maybe? Oh yeah, what? The, that was weird. There's two little creatures in it. Is it. I don't know if it's like tracking or if it's like the test. I have no idea. Yeah, you thought it was a box. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I hope. It's I thought it was a box, and then I saw it was a cage, and it's like, whoa, okay. <laughs> I wonder what that's for, right? Uh, tracking? Uh, to see if he notices the box? I don't know. Tracking. That's my guess. But there's only one way to find it, alright? And that's pretty much to check it out in the next episode, right? Yep. So, that wraps it up. And like always, guys, we will see you in the next episode.